It's draining work. But the Environmental Protection Authority is up for it. Eels have died in recent years when chemicals have reached Darabin Creek, but new sensors installed in stormwater drains at a nearby industrial estate have been minimising the problem. These devices measure acidity and salinity, and if they hit a certain level, scientists get an alert message. We look for, um, for example, sediment in the water, decoloration of the water, oils and foams. 60 businesses have been inspected and 100 compliance notices issued since the trial started in November. And EPA officers will work together with science to narrow down the area and the type of businesses that they have to investigate. And that way they can speed up action to stop the pollution in getting to the creek. If the trial is successful, the sensors could be rolled out across Victoria. Last year, many fish died when thousands of litres of chemicals flowed into Cherry Lake at Altona, while people pay a price for pollution through their taxes. These sensors, however, will save money. We were looking at a wetlands solution, um, and that was coming in at around $1.3 million as costs were escalating. And we've found a new innovative way that's looking like a $40,000 cost. Ecologist Neil Blake says while this trial is good news, he wants action on solid waste, such as tiny plastics, that are ending up in Melbourne's creeks and rivers. There's an opportunity there, though, for uh, them to connect with community groups who are doing good work. So they're, they're the human sensors and uh, working with them to um, know when there are sites that they need to act on. But one thing everyone agrees on is that stormwater should be the only thing going into stormwater drains. Alexander Darling, ABC News, Melbourne.